That I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray, a tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. This is Audrey Totter, bringing you a program of reveries in verse and melody. Take thy flight, a little longer stay in sight. Much converse do I find in thee, historian of my infancy. Float near me, do not yet depart. Dead times revive in thee. Thou bringest gay creatures as thou art, a solemn image to my heart, my father's family. Oh, pleasant, pleasant were the days. The time when, in my childish plays, my sister Emmeline and I together chased the butterfly. A very hunter did I rush upon the prey with leaps and springs. I followed on from brake to bush, but she, God love her, feared to brush the dust from off its wings. floats on high o'er vales and hills, 
when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills, and dances with the daffodils. Because the road was steep and long, and through the dark and lonely land, God set upon my lips a song, and put a lantern in my hand. Through miles on weary miles of night, that stretch relentless in my way, my lantern burns serene and white, an unexhausted cup of day. O oh, golden light, and lights like wine, how dim your boasted splendors are. Behold this little lamp of mine. It is more star-like than a star.
the day is done and the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. I see the lights of the village gleam through the rain and the mist and a feeling of sadness comes on me that my soul cannot resist. A feeling of sadness and longing that is not akin to pain and resembles sorrow only as the mist resembles the rain. Come, read to me some poem, some simple and heartfelt lay that shall soothe this restless feeling and banish the thoughts of day. Not from the grand old masters, not from the bards sublime, whose distant footsteps echo through the corridors of time, for like strains of martial music, their mighty thoughts suggest life's endless toil and endeavor. And tonight, I long for rest. Read from some humbler poet whose songs gushed from its heart as shores from the clouds of summer or tears from the eyelids start. Who through long days of labor and nights devoid of ease still heard in his soul the music of wonderful melodies. Such songs have power to quiet the restless pulse of care and come like the benediction that follows after prayer. Then read from the treasured volume the poem of thy choice and lend to the rhyme of the poet the beauty of thy voice. And the night shall be filled with music and the cares that infest the day shall fold their tents like the Arabs and as silently steal away. This has been another program of Words with Music. Hilton Spanninger was with the organ, and this is Audrey Totter saying thanks for listening. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.